Hey, yo, what's poppin' family? It is the Young King Hitman here, and we inch ever so closely, day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, to the worldwide download celebration for 2023 on Global and JP Dogon. Now, this celebration, we've gotten another hint, all right? I, I feel like this video really won't have to be long. I won't have to talk you guys' ear off, but at least you get to, hopefully, if you care, you know, you hear my reaction, whatever it might be. We've gotten the third hint of what might be four. I don't know if this is the last hint or not. Maybe they'll do four. Maybe they'll do five. I would think that they're going to do one more. That's just my guess. But anyway, it's the time machine. And that clearly indicates that this is going to revolve around Trunks and his journey throughout the timelines of Dragon Ball. I think more specifically future Trunks from Super. I hate that. Like, I got to say future Trunks and... It's already two future trunkses, and then I gotta say super trunks, and technically there are two super trunkses. I, I I hate it. I hate it. I hate that Toriyama named it Dragon Ball Super. Sometimes I, I love the the art to death. I love what Toriyama is, and I love what he's given us. But oh, I swear, bro. So anyway, you see they're painting out his chair, and uh, this chair specifically, like there was a lot of the truth did his his research, right? So this isn't the chair of. <laughs> So odd. Minato. Oh, okay, it's Minato that did this. My fault. So, oh, this is interesting. So, this is actually really good. So, the whole argument for the whole argument for it being super trunks, not Z trunks, but super, is that these little arm pads right here aren't on the main chair in Z. Right? It doesn't. The anime doesn't clearly zoom in on that. But obviously that's not completely true in terms of being manga accurate and design error by Toei. They fixed it and gave it the size of the chair. So it's either we're still we're still right back down. All this really does is kick out other theories that people might have had. Like Goresh thought it was possible it was Corrin and Tower related. And it seems like it's kicking out that theory uh, for the most part. Um, some people apparently thought it would relate to Dragon Ball Super. I don't know how the hell you could have thought that one. I ain't going to front. I would have to hear out the logic on that. But uh, this third hint makes it clear that it's revolving specifically around Trunks and his journey through, the, like I said, the timeline. Now, this is a still very abstract thing. This could still mean like, oh, are we getting the Sword of Hope Trunks? Which I think we are, but... Are we getting a Vegito Blue? Like, are we getting a Merge uh, Zamasu, which I think we are? Are we getting a Rose? Uh, listen, if we get Merge Zamasu or we get Rose, I think there's still a possibility that we get... I think what's... Ri there's so many avenues we could go about it. I'm trying not to overthink that because eventually I'll be like generally right and then I'll overthink myself into too narrow of a lane and then it won't be that. So... It could be like, you know, a part trunk, one trunks uh, that does, you know, his attack against Frieza, his, it doesn't, it doesn't mean, HEL Super Saiyan Trunks already has that moment, so I don't think so, and then part two could be Sword of Hope, or, you know, if it is just specifically Dragon Ball Super, part one could be Sword of Hope Trunks and Merge Zamasu, and then part two would be Vegito Blue and Rose, and I think people would lose their rabid ass minds over that celebration, at least for part two. So I don't think Akatsuki would be opposed to doing that. I think that Dokkan field mechanic is going to be very important. I do think it relates to Merge Zamasu more than anybody else right now. Like Merge Zamasu and Hit are the two candidates that it's like obviously this is going to help them eventually. They're going to apply this to those two units, like those two characters. So I think it's very possible. I also think Int's Easy A Goku Black is one of the, he's one of those back pocket easy, they know they have it and they know people are waiting on it, so they're gonna, they're gonna take advantage of it for a major celebration. I don't think he's gonna Easy A during a random celebration, like, like I think this is when he Easy A's, I think it's that time. So I think it's gonna be him. I also think that this Trunks and this Merge Zamasu, the Tech Trunks AGL Merge Zamasu are gonna Easy A. My question is, who's the other super class Easy A? If they do, do, I'm looking. I don't see one. Oh, and then the Sub Easy A's, these, this is what gets interesting. So the Sub Easy A, this guy, and let's see. This guy, and this guy. If these two Easy A and end up being spectacular, that would be really nice. And if you look at the five-year fusions, I don't necessarily think the sub Easy A's are coming anytime soon, but I suppose it's fully possible. The Bardock and the Trunks that are on that five-year, like the five-year banners, along with like this, the Bardock and Guinea, and then who else? It's Bardock and Guinea. Oh man. 
Am I forgetting? I, I guess I'm just whatever. I, I might be tweaking it. It might just be one banner unit per uh Per banner. Anyway, those guys could easy a sometime next year, but right now let's focus on these guys. Let's focus on future saga buffs. I said in the previous hints video that there's really not much more we can do. Like there's not a lot of cell saga content we would be able to cover. So that's why I'm really apprehensive to the idea of it being cell saga. I'm not opposed to it being cell saga. I'm worried they're not gonna handle it well. Like uh, the risk is greater if it is a cell saga centric celebration. Now, if you mix the two, I suppose you don't have to ask that much of the cell category. But it like it it's just a lot. Like the Android saga category, it does not have much left. But when you look at future, are you kidding me? Future doesn't have a gigantic amount of buffs. Like it doesn't have hella much we can do left right but then you still got gawasu and zamasu you still got units like uh the trunks and zamasu i just pulled up you could still do into goku black which is the one a lot of people are waiting for we do know that android future 17 and 18 are on the horizon their stickers were recently put in a data download seemingly by accident but yeah there's not like a whole bunch of stuff for either of these categories so i wouldn't be surprised if they conjoined it I don't think they will. Like, I really don't think they will. I'm still not bought in on the idea of it being half Cell Saga and half Super. But it's clearly going to revolve around Trunks. Like, it's obviously going to revolve around Trunks. And there's still, like, besides that, I mean, Trunks and Mai have already awakened. Was it this? Was it the Future Saga I went over in that previous video? I can't even remember. There was a hint video where I was breaking down why I won't think it'll be uh, the, the Cell Saga and I'm pretty sure I went through that whole category and everybody is pretty much awakened. But anyway, yeah, yeah, it was the cells I got broke down because I was talking about AJ Gohan and Incel. Anyway, um, Tech Dragon Ball Super Trunks and AJ Merge Zamasu Awakening, Int Goku Black Awakening, really, really good easy A's. Int Future Gohan Awakening, if you really want to do it, is a lot of W's. A lot of W's in the chat. I think a lot of people will be excited about it. People will be really hyped about just the easy A's alone. In terms of the units alone, Vegito Blue is always, like, bro, if it's a fusing Vegito Blue, people are going to lose their minds. Even if it's a standalone Vegito Blue, I actually don't want that. I would really like him to be a fusing unit. I would like the extra animations. I thought I wanted a standalone Vegito Blue. If he's a Dokkan Fest LR, then I don't want that. If he's a Carnival LR, then I want him to be a standalone straight up Vegito Blue. One thing I like about these Carnival LRs so far, it seems like it's weird, like it's intentional, but I guess, you know, it's only a pattern until Akatsuki breaks it, right? And they've broken a lot of patterns in the past year or so that they usually go throughout the game's history. They've just chosen to break them the past like 12 months. Like, somebody in the office has got fired and somebody else stepped up and decided to make real changes because... Just certain things that I can predict, I can't predict as well the past like 13, 14 months. Now, with that being said, the reason I'm even saying that is because the Carnival LRs, none of them transform. Like all of the Carnival LRs of the past year are straight up whatever named unit they are through and through. Vegito Blue, I would expect if he's going to be a Carnival LR, that's one of the reasons I want him to be a Carnival LR. He'll just be a standalone, straight up, great on turn one or turn three, Vegito Blue. But if he's a Dokkan Fest LR, I'm fine with the extra animations and then a nice intro or whatever it might be. That would be really, really dope for him. So then he would be like a Goku and Vegito with the Patara earrings that fuse and maybe you have some moments from the blue goku raging out i want that to be a banner unit really really badly but if it's a goku and vegeta that fuses they're not gonna make a goku and vegeta and then a goku banner unit right it would probably be like another trunks banner unit or something like that whatever my point is there's a fair amount you can do for future saga and i'm really hoping that we that we fill it out cor correctly like this team doesn't at the end of the celebration, let's just say that, it had, that the Future Saga has like seven new new members, completely new cards. So two premier units in part one, two banner units, then two premier units in part two. That's six. And then like a really good free to play unit. And I guess maybe they'll do a little bit more than that. But I mean, let's just say that adds up to like seven to ten units. That would fill out this roster really nice along with the easy A's because last year it felt like movie bosses didn't have much. And then... Just the cooler units alone filled out the entire movie boss thing. The free-to-play coolers, the tech, uh, final, well, fourth form, you know, pure form, whatever you want to call them, tech cooler, the free-to-play one, tech coolers, EZA, STR cooler, of course, physical carnival cooler, and that team was completely filled out. 
So you can do that really easy with this celebration also along with a whole bunch of new named units. I expect this to be a really nice celebration regardless. I'm very excited regardless. I'm going to let you guys go because I just I thought I had nothing to say and then I got the ball rolling. I get chatting. All right. It is the Young King Hitman and Young Hitman. Let me know in the, in the comments. Are you bought in on it being Cell Saga, Future Saga, revolving around Trunks, which would make it like just both? Like what do we think it's going to be? Young Hitman is off this.